There we go. Pit successful. Box him. Box him. Just the case. He fast. I don't have it. Oh, just huge 1050 into another car. Wow. Still cleared. He's the only one. Get him. Oh my god, shots fired, shots fired! What the hell happened? Oh, oh shit! This guy's got a gun! Hey, uh, get back in your vehicle, sir. Oh shit! Shots fired, shots fired! Shots Hello everybody, SoCal Thero here, welcome you back to another episode of LSPDFR. Today we're going to be doing a patrol out here in Polito Bay. We're going to be using a vehicle that I picked up. It's the only one in its uh, release, but it looked pretty cool and I wanted to give it a try. It says Dodge Durango right here. It's uh, set up as a, it says tactical response on it, but it's set up as town of Polito Bay. Uh, it looks pretty cool to me. I mean, it's got a few issues here and there, but I mean, they're not too big to where it's going to make or break it. And I realized we haven't done a patrol in a Durango yet, so I've been pretty been pretty anxious to do it. Uh, the car itself, I forgot to change the sound out, so it sounds like a fugitive, but since it is, I think what I'm told is it's an SRT model. Yeah, it's an SRT. I guess the engine sound makes sense for this car. I don't know. You guys can let me know down in the comments below which uh, model you think suits it best. Uh, light package wise, looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of lights going on there. A lot of distractions. Definitely can't say you can't see me behind you when I go to pull somebody over. But uh, we're going to be out here on patrol. We'll be looking for speed speeders, any kind of violations like that. Uh, we'll be looking for any call outs that come our way too. Uh, that dispatch lets us know about as well as anything that just kind of pops up on our map here that we see on our patrol But uh, anyways guys, we're gonna get out here on patrol and we'll see what comes our way We have a stolen vehicle in Palato Bay All right, so we got a stolen ballista. It's beige in color. Lojack says it's within this vicinity Oh, whoops, I need to turn back around. Apparently I'm paralleling it right now. So we're looking for a beige in color uh, ballista, probably a ballista compact. So it's probably paralleling on to the left side here, I'm assuming anyways. Uh, actually, I'm starting to lose it now. All right, we're gonna have to turn around again. All right, I'm picking it back up. I'm losing it again. Where the hell is this thing? Hey, All right, out of my way, buddy. Thank you. All right, I'm getting close to it. It might be down on the beach there. Yeah, I think it is. I'm gonna pull into these people's driveway real quick just to take a look down there and see. Seems like it's. Wait, is that. Oh, uh, it might be parked. It might have ditched it already. Let's go ahead and, uh. Let's go ahead and head down there. We'll scare this guy with his underglow. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. Ooh, I am not used to driving in this Durango. This is my first time driving a Durango. Which I must say is a pretty cool, uh, police car. Yeah, I know the signal's down to zero. I'm trying to get to it. It's down here somewhere. Woohoohoo! See if it picks up again going this way. Oh yeah, it's down here somewhere. Yeah, it's driving pretty reckless. Is that it over there? Yep, it's parked. Alright, we got the vehicle. Full 14 to dispatch. I'm gonna be out with that vehicle. Possibly unoccupied. Uh, please send me an additional code too. Assistance 
assistance needed in Palato Bay. So I'm gonna get another unit out here with me. I'm not taking any chances. Pulling up right behind you. Okay. Doesn't look like anybody's in it. All right, let's take a look and see. I'm waiting for my back. Uh, my backup unit's got a while till they get here. I got my takedowns on. Let me just have my gun out. All right, looks like it's unoccupied. That's pretty cool. I. You guys that watch my series have seen, like, I've gotten this call out before where I was following a vehicle and it turned into a shootout. The uh, last time I got it, it's pretty cool to see something different now where the vehicle's just parked. So, somebody might be in the area with the ve like, that was using the vehicle. But I don't see anybody other than the helicopter for the parachuting mission I had to do for single player. I love the light package on that car. It looks cool with those takedowns on. Alright. This is definitely our vehicle. Let's go ahead and uh, run the plate. See who owns it. We can let them know that we've recovered their vehicle. If I could see the plate. There we go. 61 Sam Adam Tom 713 I think is the plate. Oh, good, I can see it. 61 Sam Adam Tom 713. Let's do that again just so I can clear that. Yep, Ballista. Insurance is expired. It is a stolen vehicle. It's owned by Austin Sanders, who is clean and clear, it looks like. So, let me get back out here. What the hell is that? Oh, my backup finally showed up. I'm going to talk to them. Hey, how's it going? I've got you. Thanks. Uh, vehicle stolen. Uh, low jack recovered. Or recovery systems activated on it. I found it here. It's unoccupied. I haven't seen anybody in the area. I'm just going to do one last check real quick. See if I see anybody over here. But the way that one car was driving. We have a stolen vehicle. Yeah. Palato Bay. I'm dealing with another stolen vehicle right now. Yeah, nobody out here, so it's gonna be gone. I mean, the owner's gonna be happy they got their vehicle back. So we'll, oh, I need to get rid of that. As cool as those super events are, sometimes they get kind of annoying when you're uh, in the middle of doing something else, but you can't blame the creator. They don't know you're in the middle of something. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, Let's see if we can even get in this thing. Yeah, we can get in it. It's open. Jeez, so much going on. All right, so there was a handgun inside. I don't know how this vehicle was stolen. It might have been used in something, too, if there's a handgun in here. This is Adam 5. Copy that. We'll keep an eye out. Trying to see if something were... Eh, it's not working. Okay. Crazy shit. There's a, I, I probably have pressing the wrong key, but there's a way to access my vehicle's inventory and I could put that handgun in there. But we're gonna go ahead and call a, actually we'll call the insurance company and let them know that the customer's car is here. Alright, thanks for backing me up, appreciate it. We'll go ahead and dismiss them, they can take off. We'll go ahead and reduce down and get out of the way so that insurance company is an idiot over there and just ran their car off into the beach. <laughs> well, they're going to take this car. We're going to be code 4. And uh, we'll be back out there 10-8. What was that? Okay. This guy definitely got my attention. I had to do something just as bad as him to get to be positioned behind him, but I was trying to get the car in front of me to go, and I wasn't paying attention ahead of him to notice that uh, this guy was making a right turn in front of him, then decided he was going to make a left and did it on a red, so there's a whole lot wrong with this, and this Jeep's not doing any better. I know he's getting pulled over. That's a terrible spot. Jeez. 
Alright, well, we're gonna get out and have a chat with him. Man, I am really liking this Durango. I, I, I don't know why I haven't patrolled in a Durango sooner. Hello. Uh, good evening, sir. Deputy Thero with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you got your license and insurance? Let me, uh, have those from you. That'll do. Alright, you know why I'm pulling you over today? Uh, let's see if I can, uh... I'm gonna do failure to yield. You failed to yield at that stoplight. I thought that was legal. And we might need to question why you have a license and if you're allowed to have one. And then you, uh, failed to signal as well. There was no one there. It was safe. Okay, so says you. Go ahead and sit tight for me. God, this guy's an idiot. Actually, I should have asked him about drinking and anything like that. Whoops. Hey, uh, just real quick before I uh, head back there to run your information. You haven't been doing any drinking or anything, have you? Just a couple beers earlier? Okay. You don't have any drugs that you did any time soon, too, did you? Okay. If you refuse to answer that, is there anything illegal in there I need to know about then? Alright. Why don't you go ahead and just uh, sit here for me for the time being. I'll be right back. Alright, let's go ahead and get a... Uh, let's get a uh, backup unit out here. Assistance needed on Procopio Drive. I'm going to be running this guy's information. Ashley Turtle. He has a, a prior for possession of stolen driver's license and a hate crime. Okay. Dealing him with a good one here. Alright. Sir, can you do me a favor? Can you step out of the vehicle for me? Thank you for that. And then let's, uh, let's go back to my cruiser here and we'll have a chat, okay? Stand right here. We're kind of in the street, but there's another unit that's coming to make sure that we don't get hit, okay? And needless to say, traffic is moving kind of slow. We're kind of okay. Um. Now it's doing this. When you haven't been I in there you. yet. I gotta do this. Uh, scroll all the way down, and then it breaks, and then there it goes. Alright. So he says he hasn't been doing any drinking or anything like that. Uh, he says he doesn't have anything illegal in the car. Do you have anything illegal on you? Yes, no, who knows? Well, I will soon. Uh, let me see. Man, there's so many questions. So many questions on this thing. You give me a uh, consent to search you? Am I free to go? No, you're not free to go. You're being detained right now. What about your car? You can't do this to me. I'm going to sue you. Okay, well, here's the thing. You're not answering a lot of questions, and you did admit to doing a little bit of something earlier to possibly impair your driving. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, have you perform a few uh, field sobriety tests here. So, once you, uh, I guess just stand. Hello. There we go. I'm going to have you do what's called the walk and turn test. I'm going to have you come over here, and I'm going to have you follow this white line on the road, okay? As best as I can line up to it. There we go. Alright. Go ahead and begin. Let's see. Yep, just walk a straight line with this, uh... This line on the road. Hey. He seems to be doing pretty good. Oh, he's not drunk. He did have something earlier, but apparently he's okay. Hello. Alright, we're gonna do another test as well. It's called the horizontal gaze test. I just need you to look at the tip of my pencil, okay? And apparently Hello. I didn't pick That'll that. Do. There we go. I, it's not failing that either. Alright, well... Just go ahead and hang tight here and I'll be right back. So he said he had some stuff earlier. We did it. We went through a field sobriety check just to make sure he was okay. He seems to be okay to drive. There's not much I can get him with. Um, his vehicle 
has a expired registration. I think since he's being somewhat cooperative, I'll I'll not get him for that, but I'll get him for the operation of the vehicle because he was doing some crazy shit. We're gonna put careless driving, crossing a center divider, driving with the license suspended. I uh, definitely did some uh, failure to yield, failure to signal, failure to s not stop. We'll do improper lane change, improper turn. Okay, there we go. I don't need to do all these. Hang on. He didn't cross the center divider. He did fail to signal correctly, failed to yield, and he did do some improper turning. So I would call that reckless too because he almost hit somebody. You know what? I'll, I won't ding him for that part. Violation of right away. There we go. We'll hit him with those. And submit to those charges. Woo! He's got some charges against him this time. Alright, Ashley, here's the deal. I'm going to be signing you on five different things. For the uh, ticket's going to be for $1,100. I need your signature at the bottom here. It's not an admission of guilt or anything, it's just saying that you received the ticket. Uh, there's an order to uh, uh, that you're being summoned to court. You have to be there in 30 days to fight this or to uh, face your charges, okay? Um, on top of that as well, for these charges, you're getting charged uh, for... I, I'm going to cut you a break on the whole expired registration you have on your vehicle. You need to get that taken care of, though. But I'm just going to be charging you for the uh, stuff that uh, went on with the intersection that I observed. I'm gonna cut you a break on that for uh, being cooperative with us, okay? So, you're good to go. You can go ahead and take your vehicle, because it's only expired. And, uh, partner, thanks for backing me up. Appreciate it. So, he's been cited. He's got a court case that he'll have to appear. My partner's take is been dismissed so he's gonna take off too and I'm good to go so I'm gonna pull over here so he can get by and all the traffic can so we're gonna be code 4 and uh, we'll be back out 10-8 got a sentinel going black that's on the other side of the highway that's doing 72 miles per hour jeez just cranking it up as soon as they leave the, uh, Polito Bay. So we're going after this guy right now. I know this is normally a highway thing, but I was trying to catch people coming into Polito Bay really fast. This guy is just booking it out of here. Oh yeah, you got caught, dude. Pull it over. Pull it over. Without getting hit, hopefully. Oh man, he's gonna make it difficult for me. All right, let's go ahead and run his license plate. Uh, vehicle record has no registration. It's already not going good. Owner's name is Max Smith. Uh, he's got nothing on him, so let's see if this is him. Good Hello. evening, sir. Deputy Thero with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Uh, you got your license and insurance on you? That'll do. Thank you. You know why I'm pulling you over today? Yeah, for speeding. I got you clocked doing 72 and a 55. You're going to be late to your appointment? Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. Can you do me a favor? Let's expedite this. Why don't you go ahead and step out for me? I'm not taking no chances. So he's hopped up on drugs, possibly, too. Alright, why don't you, uh, why don't you come with me? Let's get you off the highway here so we're not in danger of getting hit, okay? Yep, why don't you just stand right here for me? Alright. Um, you got any weapons or anything? Oh, it's doing this. My game had a hard crash, so I'm trying to... It's starting over again, so like things like this I gotta do again. Okay. Uh, you got anything illegal on you, boss? Not that I remember. Okay. Have you done any drugs or anything recently? But the DTs were killing me. 
Okay. Have you been doing any drinking? Alcohol is not good for my health. Well, whatever DTs are, it doesn't sound like it either. Are you okay with me searching you? Making sure you don't, uh... Okay, you're not allowing me to search you. Okay, what about your vehicle? You know who I am. I do not know who you are. Um, since you said that you've been taking drugs, uh, do you have consent for a drug swap test? No. Okay. We'll do this. Go ahead and turn around for me and place your... Hey, 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 hey! No, 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 no. Why are you running? Why are you running? You're gonna get ta- Oh, I always do that. You're gonna get- Come on, get to- Get to my taser. Alright. Dispatch, I need another unit out here. I got him running from me. Dispatch, perfect sight. I wasn't going to arrest the guy, I was just going to detain him because he didn't give me consent to search him. So I was like, well, I don't want him to be, like, free to grab something when I don't know what he's got on him. Now he's running from me. And I got a coyote running too with us. Come on, dude. You need to stop running. This is not safe. These are train tracks. Come on. Come on, you need to stop. Stop running. I'm not close enough for a taser shot. I don't like running on train tracks like this either. Yep, that was a miss on top of probably too far away. Come on. Come on, can I... Okay, cool, I can speed it up a bit there. There we go. Now let's try. Got him! Got him! Yeah, rolling down the hill. FIB, stop right now! Alright, let's see those hands, dude. Let's see your hands. Let me see your hands. Let me see your hands. Get down on the ground right now. Get on your knees. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Okay, thank you. Just don't move, okay? Hands are shaking. Sounds like there's a stolen car flying through here, too. Yep, going into Polito. Alright, let's go ahead and get him. There's my backup unit right there. Ah, uh, jeez, the scene is far as hell. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run him back to the scene right now. Get those feet moving, buddy, because that's a long walk. Well, hopefully we don't get hit on the highway. Look, there's the train right there that would have hit you, too, had you kept it up. So, I think the car or the cruiser I see right now is my uh, backup. So I think that's the people that I called as we were in mid-pursuit running up the hill. Yeah, I think the car on the right that I can see the lights flashing is mine. I don't even know if his car is still there. So that's going to be besides the fact. Oh, it might be. One of the mods that I have installed, I don't know which one it is, but it seems to have like a persistent in it, like built into it, which is really cool. So whoever's mod that is, thank you. It's nice to be able to return to the scene and still have a, uh, still have a scene to go over and investigate. So, now that we're back on scene, now we can go through what we were planning on doing anyways. Go ahead and stop right here for me. Alright, let's go ahead and question him. Alright, what kind of narcotics have you used recently? Some pills, but I don't know what they were. Okay. Why did you run from me? Because I got warrants. At least I think I got warrants. Well, newsflash, you don't have warrants. So, I don't know why you were doing that, okay? Um, you know what? I don't even need to ask for your consent anymore. Just stand right there. We're going to pat you down, make sure you don't have any weapons on you, okay? And I'm going to see what else you have on you here before I book you. What the hell was that? Lollipop, a condom, PCP, a car key fob, and a screwdriver. Okay. I got a vehicle on fire across the street now. Um... Wow. Okay. Definitely not good. Let's go ahead and call the fire department out here. Assistance needed and not Chiliad. Oh, waiting for the fire department to get here for that. That's insane. No, that's not for me. It's across the street. Hopefully you guys don't get hit by traffic. Alright, go ahead and kneel down for me. Man, this, this scene went bad in a hurry. 
Dispatch calling yeah, I can't do that right now either. We have an officer requiring oh my god. This guy has I several was... pounds of heroin and a sniper rifle. This guy is screwed. Alright, let's go ahead and get you back up again. I'm nearby, I'll take the call for you. Well, we're gonna go through all these tests that you didn't give consent to before because now you're under arrest. Now you don't have any choice. That'll do. Alright, he hasn't been drinking, so he's okay there. Let's go ahead and do the drug swab test, though. And then I'm gonna go back to the car because I don't remember what all he had in there. Positive for marijuana, cocaine, and meth. Jeez, he's on all kinds of stuff. Alright, let's go. Oh, there's another fire truck out there and they got hit. Let me go ahead and search it again. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 14. We have a possible 484. Heroin, that's and it. And rifle. So, he's got a sniper rifle and he's got heroin in the car. Not to mention that he's driving under the influence. Yeah, I have that way. I'm in the area. There's so much going on in the background right now. So, first things first, we have to get him a speeding violation. He was doing between 16 and 25 over, so he gets hit with that. Yep. And yeah, he's going to be ordered to appear in court because that was pretty pretty hefty. Um, drug possession. He had a whole bunch of heroin on him. So we're going to get him for that. Actually, not yet. Let me see something else here. I didn't even check. Does he have a gun permit? Doesn't have a gun permit, so he's getting that arrest too. So let's see. Drug possession. We got heroin. Uh, let's see. Where is... Okay, traffic. Driving under the... Driving under the influence. Got him for that. Um... Evading arrest, but that wasn't a traffic offense. That was that's probably under here. Disturbing the peace. Uh, like, where's like? Oh, there we go. Resisting arrest because he did try to run away from me. Um, and then I guess I can't get him for the registration for an arrest. That's probably another citation. So we're going to have to get him for just those things. This is going to be his lucky day for the registration because if I go back and do that again, it'll probably break it. So he's getting those charges against him. I'm going to go see what's going on with the car that blew up across the street as soon as uh, he gets picked up here. Backup needed and not chilly odd. And let's go ahead and request a tow truck for this thing so it can be impounded as evidence. Jeez, what is going on over here? There is a whole thing going on. Let me see what's going on. Clear the scene. Okay, I cleared the scene as best as I could. Uh, you guys gonna put out the fire? Okay, you guys got the fire. Fire department's here putting it out right now. Fire truck. Assistance needed and not chilly odd. Okay, looks like a third truck's coming out here now. Jeez. Oh, there's a few trucks coming out here. Wow. There's so many firemen out here right now. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Dude's all stoked. Woohoo! Another fire out. <laughs> you wanna get that one by your feet or you definitely got somebody inside. Um Got some people inside. Do y'all want to help them? Okay, I guess not. I guess I'm uh, calling EMS. Ambulance. Backup needed. And not chilly odd. We need EMS out here right now. They're going to hopefully work on the car. The patient that's inside. They look like barbecue brisket, so I'm not expecting them to pull through. But regardless, need them to be checked out. There's the medic right there. I just called for a small unit, not the 
Fox Shrek. And what's going on over here? What in the hell happened out here? There's a body getting ran over constantly. I'm not even trying to. I'm just gonna request a corner on this thing. Backup required on Great Ocean Highway. I need to get this highway cleaned up. Let's go ahead and uh, call the insurance for that. I meant to call a tow truck, but oh well. This guy's roasting tires. They're trying to get out of here. Please don't hit me. Alright, CPR failed for the person that was in the car that blew up, so they're screwed. So, we need a corner out here for this, too. Go ahead and end this call so these fire trucks get out of here, hopefully. Uh, let's go ahead and get this car towed out of here. Flatbed, backup needed on Great Ocean Highway. Looks like the corner's on scene right now, too. Man, look at this! Freeway, it's a mess right now. Fell from a high, shot by a firearm. Jeez, so much going on. Well, we're gonna be code four, and I'm gonna be back out 10 8 here back into Polito, because this is just an absolute shit show. Leave it for highway to handle. Alright, something's going on over here. Oh, uh, we got another vehicle fire. Holy cow. Dispatch, I need another fire unit out here. Assistance required on Procopio And somebody's inside. Yeah, they're dead on the wheel right now. Hey, 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 hey. Get through. Get through. Traffic needs to be closed. All traffic halt. All traffic halt. This thing is spreading. Oh, yep. There it goes. There it goes. Where's the fire at? Where's the fire department? Shit, I'm gonna have to... There's not much I can do. Uh, let me get this out. Come on, fire. Get in here. All I could do is try to keep it from hitting this home, but it's, it's in the home already. Come on, guys. Come put the fire out. Yeah, they're dead. They're gone. There's no way they're making that. Alright, I'll let the fire department do their job. Go put this back in my car. Run traffic control, let fire do their job here. Yep, leave that on. Another fire truck? Jeez, yeah. They're getting real serious on this thing. Looks like they're getting a handle on it, though. Let's go ahead and, uh... Go ahead and call an ambulance out of here. Ambulance. Assistance required on Procopio Drive. Looks like they're hitting the house right now, making sure it's done. Dispatch calling unit Jeez, one so much going on in Polito. on Procopio Drive. My god. Yeah, I can't take that right now. This is probably going to be my last call out here, too. This episode's been going for a while. Get this done. Fire truck's going to get out of here. Oh, the ambulance is on scene. I'm just gonna walk this part of the road off with the ambulance. Somebody else down too? I just see this one. Oh wow, the pet survived! Look at that! They're in that car fire and explosion and they were able to save them. That's cool. Wow, good job paramedics and fire. I don't know what is wigging out and making all that sound, but I'm trying to get out of here right now. Please let me through. Okay, I'm scraping my car. For the sake of sanity with that sound, I gotta do it. 
All right, so we're done with that scene, and that's gonna be the end of, or the end of this patrol. We're gonna just pull into this parking lot over here to review our uh, court cases that we have pending. There we go. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got. We got a few here. We got Ashley Turtle. This is the guy that was arrested or that was uh, cited for all of those. Uh, different offenses when he was going to turn right and he ended up turning left and running a red light so let's see here revealing the outcome wow uh he was not found guilty of the violation of the right of way which is bullshit but okay i'll take it he still got fined pretty hef a pretty hefty fine not as much as i originally told him so it looks like they gave him a little leniency uh, next one is for the guy that was on the freeway that ran for me. This is his original offense for speeding. He was fined $336 for that. And then on his arrest report, it looks like he was fined $724 for the driving under the influence. He was fined $3,000 for the possession of heroin and given four years in prison and then found not guilty for resisting arrest, which that doesn't make any sense. I mean... He ran for me. I wasn't trying to arrest him. I was trying to detain him, and then he tried to leave. So, I call bullshit on that one, too. But, uh, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this patrol of LSPDFR. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Um, let me know what you think about this Durango. I definitely think I might use it again, because I really enjoyed using it. And, uh, it was pretty fun to use. CPR is successful. Yeah, I know. You guys saved the lady over there already, but or the guy in the car but uh, anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you on another episode of lspdfr take care